What is a Mason? I am. Thank you, brother, for that introduction. And don't forget, you too can be a part of the What is a Mason videos. All you have to do is head over to my website, read a little introduction about what it takes, and submit your video clip. The link to that, where all of the information can be found, is in the video description below. Or just head over to whatisamason.org, and I promise you, you'll find the link. My name is Jared, and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. This is the tie of our Grand Master and the lapel pin for What is a Mason, both which are done by Edgar over at Masonic Revival. Today, we are going to tackle the most difficult question that has ever seemed to plague Freemasonry. Today's viewer's question is, what are the do's and don'ts of Masonic rings? Now, if that made you chuckle, then I, I understand why. But this actually is a, a rather serious question. The reason it's a serious question I learned over time myself is because this actually is a issue in some jurisdictions. In some jurisdictions, there is a correct and a wrong way to wear your Masonic ring depending on your particular status. So, typically here's what you're going to see. You're going to see people asking compass points in or points out. And they're just referring to whether or not when you look at your Masonic ring, do you see it right side up or do you see it upside down? The idea being if you see it upside down, then maybe it's for other people to look at. I have always worn mine like this. Uh, it's just a preference, I suppose. But it wasn't until I had been a Master Mason for a couple years and I started talking to those outside of my jurisdiction that I understood that this wasn't just nonsense that happens to come up on social media time and time again where people seem to want to argue about the right or wrong way to wear a ring. You know, So should I have it like this or should I wear it like that where I can see the symbols myself? It seems so silly, and I promise you, it always comes up and it always devolves into some nonsensical fight between men that are supposed to be Freemasons and brothers. But in some jurisdictions, there is a practice that if you are a Master Mason, but you have not served in the chair of being the Master of a Lodge, that you would be required and expected to wear your ring in this fashion so that you, when you hold your hand up, would see the square and compasses facing you, just as you might when you had knelt at the altar. But when you are elected and elevated to being the master of the lodge and are positioned in the east, as you look out to the lodge and your brethren, where you might see the compass and square in this configuration, that at that point it is proper for you to turn your ring around and face the compasses uh, in that direction. So, as it happens, this seemingly innocuous and ridiculous little bickering thing that always happens on social media may have some validity depending on how you interpret things. I like the idea. Uh, I happen to be a past master, so in that jurisdiction, uh, me wearing my ring like this would be appropriate. Uh, but for me, it's also just a preference. Uh, I like the practicality of people go, oh man, let me see what's on your ring, and you hold your ring out, and they can actually look at it without it being upside down to them. Uh, of course, more often than not, I'm likely to just take my ring off and hand it to them because it has symbols all the way around, and there's even an etching on the inside that I'm not going to show you. So, brethren, the purpose of this video is to try to inform. I, I do want you to understand that there are jurisdictions out there that teach this, that depending on what station you have held and therefore what 
angle you have seen the square encompasses that that should be reflected in how you wear your ring. So the do's and don'ts. The only other, and I think perhaps uh, unnecessary to recite thing here is if you are not a master mason, don't wear the ring. Plain and simple. Uh, there are jurisdictions I have learned that as soon as you are initiated, they will happily allow you to wear whatever Masonic emblem that you wish to show that you are a member of the fraternity. I think that those are in the vast minority. I think the majority of jurisdictions and the majority of brethren are going to say you should not be wearing a master mason's ring until you are actually a master mason now can you find rings that are situated as such that would make them appropriate for an entered apprentice or a fellow craft yes you can should you wear them there's no reason not to except that chances are you are going to spend a significant amount of money over your time in freemasonry buying apparel, pins, ties, and other things. Typically, one may be an entered apprentice or a fellow craft for no longer than one year each. In most jurisdictions in the United States, it may only be one month each. So the question comes of, are you being frugal? Are you using your money in the correct way if you are buying something that you know going into it is only going to be used by you for one year. Um, that's up to you. That's your choice and based on the rules of your Grand Lodge in your jurisdiction. For my money, it's not worth it. I, I would not want to go out and um, buy a ring uh, that's not going to be used very long. Now that's being said... Uh, this is a silver ring. This is a, an expensive Masonic ring. You can find stainless steel ones for 10, 15 bucks a pop. And maybe that is something that you feel justified in spending. So take that for what it's worth. But let's circle back around. I think the more common do or don't when it comes to Masonic rings is which direction to wear them in. And as we have learned, there is not only opinion in the matter, but there are also jurisdictions with regulations on the matter as well. So look into it. Ask somebody if your jurisdiction has those rules. I would assume that if your jurisdiction has those rules, it would be explained to you, uh, at least at the time that you're raised to being a master mason. Uh, but hey, I don't think it ever hurts to ask. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them down in the description below. I read the comments that get attached to every video, and that is where I get the questions that I answer here today. I don't make them up. These are, in fact, viewer questions that I am answering. Thanks so much to all of our supporters, whether it be through Patreon, heading over to the website, and buying Masonic swag, uh, however it may be, I do appreciate your support. Head over to whatisamason.org support to learn more. We'll see you next time.